Good morning, this is Wendy Antonucci for Coco Daisy. And this month for my May kit, I am going to show you an album I am working on for my 40th birthday. I made a similar one when I was 30. I don't do this every year, but I took the time to document some of my favorite things and who I was. So you can just see it was a kit with creating keepsakes. And um, I just stuck kind of with it. You can find all the topics that I covered in this album on a challenge listed in the National Scrapbook Day forum as I shared some of this there. So I've had this and it was fun looking back to see um, where we were 10 years ago. It's amazing how quickly 10 years can go by. This year, I just took a, uh, I guess a eight by eight album and I'm just going to recreate that album but with what's going on in my life this year. So I began with my title page and I posted this in the uh, gallery already so that you can see it. But you can see there is my favorite things, my embellishment clusters. I put uh, May in 2017 for the year, how old I'm going to be, and just some pretties that I liked. My next page that I worked on was this. I wanted it to tell about our story for the past 10 years and where we are now. Uh, so I created the page and then I did my journaling. Um, my next step is to get this journaling on this page and I'm just going to put some lines and just write it all over this. Um, but it was really neat and I do encourage you to take the time maybe every year, every five years, every 10 years, whatever you choose to really talk about your story. Um, I put myself in all of our scrapbooks, so it's not new, but to really look at how far things have gone for us in the past 10 years, it, it's really, <laughs> it's unbelievable to say the least. And I'm sure in another 10 years, it'll be even more so. My next page is all set up for a picture. Um, in my one from when I was 30, I have a picture from my birthday and my special birthday trip to Disney. We actually live here now. We didn't back then, but we do. So hopefully I'll have another picture that I can add in and it'll go right here and then I'll embellish it and I'll show you later what that looks like. The next page I chose to do was my favorite books, movies, and music from the past 10 years. Things that I like, probably not 10 years ago, but definitely what I'm liking now. I just took three by four, I cut three by four cards and then I embellished them. I used the stamp set from the April kit for the keeping it real. I used the stamp set, um, goodness, I don't know, from a long time ago. Um, maybe the, I don't know, I really don't know, February kit for the documented. And then I used some of these pieces, I actually took the stickers and wrote my words. I ran out of S's, so I actually cut a square around the leftover piece of S and then trimmed it. It took a little bit, but it definitely, I was able to keep these kind of letters where I didn't want to change them, so that was neat. And then I used um, just the labels, which I've lost again and trimmed off the colored part to add a little bit of color to each of these. And then I just recorded what my favorites were right now. On this side, I'm going to include my favorites. I'm thinking my favorite foods, my favorite um, snacks, uh, my favorite pastimes, my favorite, um, uh, just my favorites right now. Um, for my previous album, there were a few word collages. Now they created it for me, so I'm a little bit stuck there, but that's the same idea I want to do again. So there's the one and then the other one. This one I really enjoy looking at. So I'm planning on recreating a similar thing in my book. 
But it's really fun to cut out your tags, cut out the tags that you're into because they will definitely change. The next page that is not in my 30th album, but it is in this one because it's such a huge part of my life right now, is the fact that we have moved into six houses over the past 10 years. Um, it was really important for me um, to document this journey and, um, and just all that the Lord's been doing with us. And uh, it's just a good place to be, even though sometimes documenting memories that make you sad um, is good because it is a part of your story. It is who you are. And it shows how you've become strong and things that you never thought you would make it through. So that's it so far. Um, again, you can see these are the day in the life cards and then some of the um, crepe paper and ephemera and some stickers. I love, 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 love those stickers we had last month in the these stickers and they're just about gone. So I'm still using those. I am using the chipboard, which I just love. So happy that was included. Um, I'm still using the washi tape from, was it April, I guess? I love this stuff also. And if you saw also on National Scrapbooking Day, I shared a tip that I like to take a piece of paper and I don't have, okay. I just take a white piece of paper, I stick down one of the pieces of washi tape and I just stick it as close to the top as I can or the sides or whatever so I don't have to trim too much and then I'll cut that out. So I'm just going to cut that out and when I'm done now I have washi tape that you can't see through and I can use on a lot more than I would be able to if it was still see-through. I've got all my stamps out and ready to go for this project. And of course, all the cards, which I love. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use them. I wanted to buy another set. So Christine, if you hear this, we'd love more of these because these are great. Um, I'm really thinking about using this in my album, Hello to New Adventures. And I do wanna get the May 2017 card in there. Uh, just to document that that is the date of this month and when I'm making it. Um, so that's it for now. I will come back at the end of the month and share the complete thing. But I do recommend just take time and get yourselves not only in your scrapbooks, but really talk about who you are. Because you will change, you will grow, and it's neat to see how you've progressed. And I'm going to give you a quick look one second of my scrapbook area um, we're in it's in my room so I don't have a lot of area I have one of the Ikea drawers there I have my sewing machine and my planners these are all the tubs of the die cut pieces and such planner pieces here's my washi tape this one is in the new planners for May um, Here's those printables. I love this one, but I haven't figured out where to put it yet. Um, and then I have my calendar. And one thing that I love, I have done this for years, I think before anyone else caught on, but I love to keep up my favorite layouts, usually the ones I've done that month, to be inspired, to add some color, and to make it look like my place. Um, I have little bit of a mess but anyway I'm trying to squeeze everything in that used to fit in a room uh, that doesn't fit anymore and here's one more look over here little crates that I just put extra stuff in and this is actually a um, kitchen cart that this folds up um, I usually keep it down just so I won't run into it and then there's drawers and such and there is my newest Coco Daisy kits and some of the projects that I'm working on now so thank you for joining me, and I hope you will stop by again at the end of the month to see what else I've created. Have a great day. Bye.